guys welcome back to no catch your name it's me ella today is saturday uh august the 12th so this is the sweater update uh i started this collab well i didn't start it i started participating in it <laughs> with a group of ladies um gosh i think in like march or april stinking that that's where uh anyways <laughs> um we started we were working on sweaters from then all the way through november just because a lot of the ladies hadn't made sweaters before i've made a handful of cardigans and some little baby sweaters if that even counts <laughs> um but i think most of them you know most of them i know carrie is moving she's in the process of i think she just moved to an apartment and they're in the process of selling a house buying a house and all this craziness and uh, connie <laughs> i think she restarted hers a few times shannon has been and olivia have both had like same similar issues so i don't know if i'm the only one making a video this month again i was last month but i'm gonna keep going until i'm done because <laughs> i do like my sweater and it's even though it's taking a while but i'm i'm only working on like once a month so anyways i will link all their channels down below anyways and you can still go give them love because they do still make videos about other other crochet related things and um yeah so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and hop in so uh since the beginning <laughs> i've been making a free youtube pattern it's called the air just kicked on and it slammed that door and it scared me a little bit <laughs> it's called uh easy crochet heart sweater by chinda diy i believe is what the channel is called it is um a two-part video and i'm almost done i'm like with the main crocheting part i guess oh, i guess i'm not I'm, I'm getting there <laughs> anyways uh last month i did show you i do have both the panels done so it's the front and back panels so there it is and I did one of them still had some ends last month and I went ahead and wove those in so the panels are 100% done now so they're exactly the same except there are some errors in there <laughs> but the panels are done I can't attach them until I get done with the sleeves so I did start one sleeve and I started this yesterday I told you I'm only working on this once a month because <laughs> that's my point I wanted it to last the whole um, collab plus I you know don't, didn't want it to be like a high pressure project where I felt like I needed to work on it constantly to show you um, the progress. So I literally, usually the week that the videos do that Saturday, I start working on it that week. This week, however, <laughs> we started back and we started homeschool, so it was second grade. So it's been a busy week. So I just sat down last night. Well, it was it was afternoon, and I just started it, and then I kind of picked it up throughout the day when I had a chance and did a few rows. But so this is the first sleeve, and it is supposed to be a big puffy sleeve. So you start with the cuff, and it's it's open. And then you, you increase just a little bit. I think it was just up to this purple. Or maybe this first lot. And then now i got to do a whole bunch of um, just straight double crochet. So, but eventually it'll be, you know, a big puffy sleeve. I think that this sweater might be a little big on me. I don't know, though. I have body dysmorphia. Sometimes I think I'm bigger than I am, and sometimes I think I'm littler. So, I don't know. I'll just have to wait till I get it done. But it's going to be puffy. <laughs> just imagine it's sewed together. And uh, we'll see how it looks. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. But if I don't like it, I'm sure someone else will. And I'll probably just give it to whoever wants it. <laughs> but I got a bedrillion ends to weave in. This sleeve's about halfway done, I think. It says to do um, from row four, after you do the last increase, it says to do from you know row four all the way up to 42. And this is about to my elbow, so i still got a bit to go. And then I will be able to lay this flat, lay my panels out flat. I will attach the panels together up here at the shoulder and then these will be laid in the middle you know between the two panels and sewed and then I will sew the sleeve shut and then the hole around the body and then the last bit will be doing the bottom cuff or brim whatever it's called and I think it's got some stuff up at the collar but it depends on how tight the collar is on my neck is what I do if it's um already because it looks like it's already going to be pretty tight <laughs> I might just do like a one roll single crochet just to make it look even because I don't want anything that's like too on my neck that'll make me all a little gaggy but it's kind of long it's looking pretty good I think I love the colors the colors are um Red Heart Super Saver soft white which is very floppy <laughs> I have another bowl of this which I think I'm gonna have to use for the other sleeve but I don't know I might have enough and then I've got this I think it's called um orchid I'm gonna do I did the arm cuffs in this and I'm gonna do the bottom cuff of the whole sweater and if there's anything at the, at the top, I'm going to do it all in this purple color because I have more of it than I do the other colors. And then the other color is Red Heart. I forgot what it's called. Something raspberry. 
shocking pink. <laughs> it has nothing to do with raspberries. Shocking pink. So I did use, I've already used one whole ball of this in the two panels and most of the sleeve. I just started using it for the second, or for the sleeve. Um, but I think I'll have enough to finish it up, I hope. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure, oh, I don't know if that is discontinued. I already had one from some time and then this one got recently sent to me from someone after I made one of these videos. It's thunder, you hear that? Uh, and I'm using a G hook, which I think this is a four and a half. Yeah, it's a G7, so it's a four and a half millimeter. And it's coming along. Now, in her original pattern, I think she uses a smaller hook and smaller yarn. So, it, for me to size it up to my size, because she makes like a, I think she says it's a small medium size, because it's meant to be baggy. Because uh, that's like a, a really big stylish thing right now, is baggy sweaters. And so, I to size it up, I just use worsted weight yarn, which is what I mostly have on hand. And a G hook, so... And so far the panels are like my size. I feel like they might be, it might have a little bit of space, but you know, I still got to sew them together. I don't know. I'll have, I can't judge it until I finish it and put it on <laughs> and the sleeves. So we'll see. But anyways, that's my progress so far. It's coming along. The sleeve worked up pretty fast. The most annoying part was doing the cuff because I hate the regis back and forth in the back loop. It I feel like it takes forever. <laughs> but um, I did it, and I thought about doing them at the same time, but then I was just like, eh, I'm just going to make one and then make the other, because I'm not sure if I'm going to make it the whole length yet, because, you know, nobody's arms, not everybody's arms are the same length, so I'm going to just kind of measure it as I get going, and I think I'm, let's see here, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 4, I'm on row 25, so I'm over halfway down with the sleeve length, but uh, I'll just keep measuring it as I go to see if it um, fits my arm. There it is. I think it looks so good. <laughs> I love the colors. And again, it looks huge, but it's just, it's supposed to be puffy. It's what's in style right now. Although I'm not a stylish person, <laughs> but uh, I like it. I actually, I prefer better when sleeves are made from the top down because then it's a lot easier to um, control the length, you know, because all the increasing is down here. So if it, well, I guess, I mean, it's the same thing as up here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've only made a few wearables, like actual clothing type wearables. Um, all the sweaters that I made for, like, my size were open cardigans. So they they don't have to be perfect fit, you know. Uh, except one. I did make, it's not hanging in here anymore. I think it's still in the closet because it's not cold to bring it out. I made it last December into January when, oh, not last year. The year before that. It was when I was pregnant. It was neon straps or something like that. I don't remember. I think it was Sorella pattern, maybe. But, um, I made that. That was like a pullover one. But it was like a fillet stitch, so it was real open. So, I don't think it counts, because it wasn't like a form-fitting type thing. But anyways, that's my progress. I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm hoping, like, I'm really interested. I'm gonna try and sit down and finish this. Maybe today. And I'd like to get the sweater put together before the next video. Even if I don't finish the last touches of the cuffs, uh, it'd be nice to have it to where I can actually show you that it looks like a sweater <laughs> and I can kind of get an idea of the size. I am going to keep this though until next year. This year I'm not entering anything as a fair just because it's been so rough with June still being a toddler. I'm hoping next year she'll be a little bit better. Uh, so I'm going to save this and enter it into the fair next year. Uh, and then if I don't like the way it looks on me, I can just give it to somebody. I'm not even going to worry about selling it because I mean, stuff like this, I don't make it to sell. I make it just for the fun of making it. Um, so I'll be glad to pass it on to someone who will love it. Uh, if I don't love it, but I'm going to enter it in the fair first because I feel like that might be a purple ribbon winner, which is grand prize. I won two of those in my years of, let's see, 2017, 18, 19, 21, because we didn't do it in 20, and 22. I did five years of entering stuff into the fair and two of those years I won blue ribbon or purple ribbons for one for my mandala madness, which was amazing. I still love that pattern. And another one was called the... Hot Tides Wave Baby Blanket or something like that. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> that is my sweater update. So I will leave the pattern link down below. It's two videos. Um, she has an accent that's not American. I guess I should say that because there are people watching this. <laughs> but you can hear, I understand her perfectly. And she also has it on the screen, which is what I do. I, I mute it because I'm usually doing something else. And I just read what's on the screen and I pause it and I do that. And then I, you know, go skip it again to where I need to go. Uh, because I prefer reading patterns better than like watching people do it or hearing people talk about it. So, but I love that. I love it when people make videos and then they put the writing on the screen as well. 
because it accommodates people like me who like to read it better. But anyways, I'll leave that links below and I'll leave all the ladies link below that were participating and maybe will in the future. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys in another sweater update September, the second Saturday of September, whenever that is. I don't know. I don't have calendar right here with me, but it'll be the second September, Saturday, or second Saturday in September. <laughs> and the time twister. Um, and hope maybe I'll have it pieced together by then. Who knows? But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye guys.